Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular uh, BD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this perpendicular BD is uh, being represented by X and moreover the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC has been given to us uh, as uh, 1014 uh, square units and the perimeter of this uh, triangle uh, ABC is uh, 156 uh, units. Now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. In other words, uh, we are going to find this uh, length uh, BD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, ABC. And now I am going to label uh, its uh, side length. I'm going to call uh, this uh, side length uh, AB as uh, lowercase a, this uh, side length uh, BC as uh, lowercase b, and finally this uh, side length uh, AC as uh, lowercase c. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, for this uh, triangle ABC, this is uh, our base and this side uh, is uh, our height. And uh, our area has been given to us uh, as 1014. So therefore, we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, 1014 equals to a half uh, times uh, A times uh, B. And now we are going to multiply both sides by 2 to remove this uh, fraction. And here we can see 1 divided by 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore, uh, our A times B value turns out to be 2 times uh, 1014 is going to give us uh, 2028. 20, and now I am going to label this our equation uh, number 1. And now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And this time I am going to call uh, this uh, side uh, AC as our uh, base and this uh, BD as our height. Uh, of uh, this triangle and once again the area of this uh, triangle ABC is uh, 1014 so therefore we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, area of a triangle formula once again so therefore we can write uh, 1014 equals to 1 divided by 2 times uh, our base uh, is uh, C times our height uh, this time is uh, X and now I am going to multiply both sides by 2 to remove this uh, fraction. So therefore we can see this 1 divided by 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore uh, we are ended up with uh, C times uh, X uh, equals to 2 times 1014 is going to give us uh, 2028. 20, and I am going to label this as our equation uh, number 2. And here's our next step. We know the perimeter of this triangle uh, ABC is uh, 156. And we know the perimeter of this triangle ABC is simply the sum of uh, these uh, side lengths uh, A plus B plus uh, C. So therefore we can write uh, A plus uh, B plus C is going to be equal to 156. And now I am going to move this uh, C on the other side. So therefore uh, we can write this one as uh, A plus B equal to 156 uh, minus uh, C. And I am going to call this our equation uh, number 3. And finally let's recall the Pythagorean uh, theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. So therefore I can write uh, A square plus B square equal to c square. I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number 4. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity. a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus b square plus 2 times uh, ab. 
and we know from this equation 3 a plus b equals to 156 minus c so therefore i'm going to replace this uh, a plus b by 156 uh, minus c over here and from this uh, equation 4 a square plus b square is equal to c square so therefore i am going to replace this uh, a square plus b square by simply c square over here and finally from equation 1 uh, our a times b value is uh, 2028 so therefore i am going to replace this uh, a times b value as uh, 2028 uh, over here so therefore our this equation is going to become uh, 156 uh, minus c whole uh, square equal to c square plus uh, 2 times uh, 20 28 and now let's recall another famous identity once again a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus uh, b square and we are going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial on the left hand side so therefore left hand side has become 24 336 minus 312 times c plus c square is going to be equal to c square plus 2 times 2028 is going to give us 4056 and now we can see this c square and c square they are gone so therefore we are left with the 24 336 minus 312 times c equal to 4056 and now we are going to subtract 24336 from both sides this is gone so we are left with the negative 312 times uh, c is going to be equal to negative uh, 20,280 and now we are going to divide both sides by negative uh, 312 to isolate c this uh, is gone with this one so therefore uh, our c value turns out to be 65 so thus our this side length uh, a c turns out to be c equal to 65 units and here's our final step let's recall this equation to c x equal to 2028 so therefore i'm going to write down c times x uh, equals to 2028 and now we know that our uh, c value is uh, 65 so therefore i'm going to substitute uh, c value over here as uh, 65 so therefore this equation is going to become 65 times uh, x uh, equals to 2028 and now we are going to divide both sides by 65 to isolate x uh, this uh, 65 and 65 is gone so therefore uh, our x uh, value turns out to be 31.2 units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be 31.2 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye